congratulations on your purchase of a Shadow Hunter Silent Window Kit. On this video, we'll give you detailed instructions on installing the windows in your wooden hunting blind or shooting house. The tools you'll need for this project include a cordless or electric drill, a hand or air staple gun, a square drive bit for the screws, a ruler or tape measure, a writing utensil for drawing your lines, and a saber saw. You will also need a small level and square for even measurements, as well as a utility knife for cutting the protective paper from your glass. We'll begin with the installation of the horizontal gun window. Step one is the proper measuring and cutting of your window frame. This window should be cut at 22 and 3 8 inches wide, 8 inches tall, and the bottom of the window should be 42 inches above the floor of the blind. After properly measuring the four corners of your window frame, use your square to ensure straight lines around the frame. Drill holes in each corner of the frame large enough for your saber saw blade to fit through. Then use your saber saw to cut out the frame. Step two is the installation of the outside shield track. On the exterior wall of the blind, start by measuring 1 and 5 8 inches out from the side of the window frame's vertical edges on both the top and the bottom. Hold one shield track on the top mark, raising the top of the track an eighth of an inch above the top of the window frame, and secure the track with a screw. Make sure you align the track with both the top and bottom marks, and then fasten with two additional screws. Repeat this same process for the track on the opposite side. You are now ready to install your rubber stop screws, placing them half an inch below the bottom of each track. Step three is installing the outside shield in the tracks. Drop in the shield with the rivets to the bottom making sure you have enough clearance so that the shield slides up and down smoothly. Step four is installing the drip cap. The cap should sit on top of the tracks so that the first angle of the bevel is set flush with the top of the tracks. Insert one screw on the right side. Make sure the cap is level, then insert one screw on the left side. Insert additional screws to fasten securely. Step five is stapling the Velcro strap to the inside of your blind. Pull the shield up and down a few times to get the strap in the center of the window. Once you have found the center, let the shield down and staple the loop section of the strap onto the wall, starting at the bottom. Place two staples side by side on both the bottom and the top to ensure that the corners of the Velcro won't turn up and place several staples throughout the Velcro loop to secure it to the wall. Step six is installing the glass track. Use your utility knife to cut the edges of the protective paper around the window handle. And then remove the paper from both sides of the glass. Slide the foam glass tracks on each side of the glass panel with the top of the tracks even with the top of the panel. Hold the glass and tracks over the window frame opening evenly on both sides with the top of the glass three quarters of an inch above the top of the opening. 
Insert screws at the top and bottom of the right side track and then insert a screw only at the top of the left side track. Lower the glass to make sure that it's level and will slide smoothly. Then insert the bottom screw on the left track. Lower the glass about half an inch below the bottom of the window opening and insert the rubber stop screw below the bottom of the glass. The installation of your gun window is now complete.